Um, once again, I find that I feel I must respond to something that was said from the floor, um, in particular responding to Ms. Renna. Certainly there's nothing wrong with making comments or asking questions from the audience. That's a, a, a good thing, but I find it distasteful when she uses innuendo and misstatement to create false impressions. I'm not going to respond to any of her specifics, but she does it on a regular basis. And it's just not right. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Hi, I just wanted to respond briefly to uh, Freeholder Bergen's comments at the end of the meeting. Seems like he's taking up Freeholder Sullivan's uh, former stance of cheap shots at, during comments, trying to score, I don't know what, he sounds ridiculous. He accuses me uh, in Generator Gate, my comments in Generator Gate. I guess John's going to uh, roll that for you. I'm Miranda Cranford. I'm also the president of the Union Washington Association which has a blog called County Watchers uh, in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. I posted a blog about county employees taking home generators for their personal use, and that story developed over the, the months after that. Uh, we even obtained a photograph of one of those huge, I think it's, uh, I'm not exaggerating the size of it, you would need a trailer to tow it, a huge county generator on the front lawn of a county police officer's um, home on Kenilworth Boulevard. So um, these employees that took these generators certainly were not in the mood that they were doing anything wrong. They, they were pretty open about what they did. They had them on their front lawns. And in any case, in this uh, photo, that's what it shows. Uh, supposedly, um, the county police started the investigation even though it involved county, very higher ups in the county police department. The prosecutor's office stepped in and took over the investigation. I'm told that a report has been issued to the county manager and he has uh, been netting out punishments to um, some employees. The problem with this is you are not letting the public know, you're not letting your employees know who it is that you're holding accountable for this. So the public and your employees cannot trust you. They do not know who, if anyone, that you gave a pass to. And I just want the public uh, to be aware of this. Thousands of people and businesses suffered in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. I'm told 16 to 20 generators went home to keep county employees comfortable, while many people in Union County whose lives were in danger, lights were out, major intersections were out. This was a public safety issue. It wasn't just a comfort issue. Plan A was you had the prosecutor come after me. He wanted to know uh, what county employees, um, he wanted my information. That didn't work out for him. He's no longer in office and I never did divulge my sources or the names I had. So plan A didn't work for you. I believe this is your plan B that you're just not going to tell people who you're holding accountable, therefore no one can know who you're not holding accountable. It's disgraceful, it's unjust, this shouldn't happen in a democracy. The very least we should expect from government is to keep us safe. That's all we need you to do. That is all we need you to do. You did not do that. You took care of your own first. The second thing we should, oh well, up on the same grounds as that is transparency and honesty. We get none of that from you. This is just one incident, and I'll just stick to this incident. No transparency, no honesty, no justice. Your employees cannot trust what goes on here. This is going to happen again. There's no safeguards in place that says this isn't going to happen again. So that's your plan B. You're following through with your plan B. And you know, I, I haven't given up. I, I'm, I'm nothing if not on to exposing the truth. I can't expect for you to change your ways, but what I can do, what I believe I have in my power to do, is to dig and dig and insist on the truth. And I will continue to do that, just as I do with Music Fest. We didn't really ever get to the truth of Music Fest. I mean, money was unaccounted for. Money that was supposed to help ease the suffering of children with cancer was unaccounted for a Music Fest. <coughs> I can't force you to hold people accountable. I can't force you to do that. What I can do is expose that it happens. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. Came here meeting after meeting, demanding music fest accountability until finally the prosecutor did 
investigate, even though he held no one accountable. Former county manager George Devaney is no longer sitting here, but no one ever accused him of wrongdoing. He's just gone. Union County prosecutor is now gone. I'm going to come here meeting after meeting and demand that you, at least, at the very least, you release the names of employees that you're accusing of taking these generators home. Just so your employees know if you gave anyone a pass, for their sake, because they fear you. They fear you, they fear law enforcement here. That's why they will not talk to them. But they talk to me, and I'm gonna keep coming back. I see you're getting ready to spend $47 million on uh, new equipment, new generators. $47 million. This isn't chump change. So you have no system in place. Um, I'll be done in a second. You have no system in place to keep track of this. No system in place for tens of millions of dollars. Where's the justice? Many of the statements that you said, Ms. Renner, were not correct. We do hold all accountable. Um, personnel issues are just that, personnel issues, and we will not discuss personnel issues here. County Manager, would you like to say anything? Just uh, thank you, Chair. Just on uh, one other point, um, the county is in the process of implementing an asset management system. We, we have awarded a contract to Cartograph to design this system and to be integrated into our present work order system. Um, as a matter of fact, the meeting was held today to go over the development of the system and develop a timeline. We're also working on, on uh, policies and procedures with regard to this, uh, barcoding inventory equipment and all the things necessary to put the system in place. Uh, giving false specifics and innuendo um, when they offer no facts of their own. They're giving us false specifics and innuendo. And they are the government's. I'm, I'm a citizen. I'm a journalist. I'm a watchdog. I'm a citizen. They are the government. They are charged with our safekeeping. They are charged with spending over a million dollars of our money every single day. They supposedly conducted an investigation with Union County Police. And it involved Union County Police taking home these generators. The prosecutor then took over the investigation, and we're, we're not getting any specifics or facts from them. Nothing. We get nothing. No comment, no apology to the public for putting them in danger or inconveniencing them in any way. No accountability at all. So, in on, what, what did he say? In specifics and, and innuendo? Uh, it's not innuendo, I'm stating facts, and I have facts, I have many sources that gave me information, so I know what's going on, this is plan B, this is how they're protecting people now, by not giving, by not naming names, then everyone needs to wonder who did they give a pass to, and this is what county employees are wondering, they can't speak out, they don't, they don't have a voice here, but I do, and I'm going to keep asking.